new stuff in there. required at all times in the submarine and on the lower deck of the boat. Uh, they're optional here on the pier and on the upper deck of the boat. Any open air spaces. Uh
Spirit of Aloha. We have Spirit of Aloha. Well, it's not very deep. No, it's not. Oh, there's a turtle. Hi. It's a loon. I sat there. In the edge.
As you can see, those are the submarine that we are going under the ocean soon. That's the diamond head in there. Over there, that's the diamond There's people coming out from the submarine. They are the people that want to get here. They want to go under us. Uh, 
Okay, aloha everybody. Welcome aboard the Atlantis 14. Thank you so much to our co-pilot in the back. It looks like we have everyone loaded up front. She's slowly going to lower that aft hatch unless... If everyone agrees to it, we can uh, leave the hatch up. Cadillac style tour. Who's up? Who's game? Anybody? Any, no, no, everyone says no. Forward hatch is secure. Captain, oh. So it takes two people to shut these hatches. Two people to shut these hatches. So uh, I'm gonna crank this wheel. I got so excited, you guys. We're gonna crank this wheel. Watch for all of the light to escape. Captain Joey has inspected to make sure that the salt water uh, wasn't too heavy here on this hatch. Might be down any debris like sand. Even a piece of hair can stop these hatches from sealing properly. So Captain Joey inspected it, and she's going to give it a double tap. We're secure about 95%. <laughs> 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 okay. Sorry, we're going to tap 100% just for you guys. You must be special. After that, to secure our ratings, I'm going to hop off the mic. We can let our captain take it away. We're going to listen in as we begin our dive sequence. TS-14 was both hatch secure, life support systems off, and ship is uh, functioning, and water balance is set to about 12 and a half. Put a finish with it then. Get it taken over. Oh, Vince opened it. 26, control, dive, dive, dive. All right, you guys heard the captain. We are ready to dive, dive, dive. Are you guys ready for a summary drive? Yay! Oh, I have a lot of woos. Hey, you guys are lucky. You got a real life Hawaiian on board. Ooh. Yes. I can teach you guys how to sound more local. So here in Hawaii, we actually don't say woohoo. Anyone know what we say? Choo-hoo. Yeah, it's a very weird. It's like a reverse sneeze. Okay, so don't say ah choo. Say choo. All right, now we ready. Choo. So you guys, we're at 12 feet right now. This is our depth gauge. Captain gave us the okay to dive, so if you haven't already done so, please go ahead and fasten your seatbelts. We're about to drop down hard and fast in three, two. I just kidding. So right now, the captain, we're gonna go down real slow, you guys, nice and steady. So 12 feet, if I'm ever blocking this depth gauge with my big old Hawaiian head, you guys can turn around. We have one on the starboard side as well next to our co-pilot, Becca. So 12 feet, 13 feet. If you guys look up through your viewports, you can probably see that shimmering surface as we slowly make our way down. The visibility is so good, you guys, down at 45, 50 feet below us. You can already see sort of the ocean floor. There's some mackerel. Already we got some action here on the port side, you guys. Port side, there's some black dirigens. And then right through them, swimming through them, we have mackerel. So that hump, you guys, here, this is the toughest part of our captain's job, is getting the submarine underwater. So this humming sound, this uh, submarine is battery operated. So in order to get the submarine underwater, Captain Stu gets to pump in thousands of gallons of salt water. That gets us heavy. But the submarine is built to be positively buoyant. So it's really fancy for it. Naturally, it wants to float. So it's a really good thing. Are you guys nervous? Are you nervous? Yeah. Not nervous. We're not nervous. The submarine has this really great feature, that positive buoyancy. If we were to shut down, lose all power at like 100 feet, scary. The submarine will naturally drift up without any help. She wants to stay afloat. So in order to fight that buoyancy, we're pumping out this water. We're releasing air. We, we look like whales on the surface. We're releasing all of this high pressure air. And at the same time, we're verticaling our thrusters down. So Captain Stu, he got us down here at 38 already. Typically, I'm actually really excited. We have Captain Stu today. Um, this is our youngest pilot. Uh, he's 18 years old. He just graduated high school, actually. We um, watched a couple of YouTube tutorials last night how to drive a submarine. So, fingers crossed. I think you guys are in good hands. No, I'm just joking. This is Captain Stu. He's been with us since he was 18, and he's he's well over 100 years old now. You guys, he's got a lot. 
got a lot of hours of operation under his belt. He already got us here to our dive site. Do you guys look out of your viewports? You're going to notice video. nothing. Yeah. So we picked this spot on purpose. We know where fish live, right? Fish live in coral. They live where the reefs are. So if you're going to pick a spot where all of the fish are hanging around, this submarine is possible, is capable of touching down on the ocean floor. So we don't want to come down initially where all the fish are because we can crush all of that marine life, all that coral. So we picked this spot. This is our dive site. Nice open ocean. No coral to snack. Right now, Captain Sue's got it situated, so we're going to go find some artificial reefs. Yeah. Artificial reefs, we are not like our sister island. We have never seen Big Island or Maui's reefs. Gorgeous. My gosh, such so much natural reef that goes on for miles. On the to the horizon. No, so radio waves get scattered down here. There's so something I would here. do, I would put my phone on airplane mode, save yourself the battery. That way she's not searching, searching, searching. So I see here we have some navigational markers and there's some fish right ahead of me. So that gives me the clue that we're here, you guys. We're here at our very first artificial reefs. Right now we're heading to our first installation. You guys can see it here on the starboard side already. The submarine is 100 feet long, so give me a moment before you guys in the back can see it's a bit of a delay. But these are the Hawaiian pyramids. You guys from the port side are going to get your own view. Either end, you guys are going to each see the same thing. These are the Hawaiian pyramids. Made of cement blocks held up by PVC pipe. We're going to go right down the middle, three on each side. So I'll give you guys a break from my voice. This is in a library. Talk story amongst yourselves. I'll be back right after these messages. So there wasn't a lot of information. So when we sunk them down here, we didn't even know if it was gonna work. We basically just crossed our fingers and we hoped and we prayed we'd be able to bring back our fish. You guys saw all of those fishes there. We were able to bring back our entire endemic species. That means fish you only find here in Hawaii. So it worked. That means that throughout the tour, you guys, these structures are gonna get bigger and bigger and bigger. So here on the port side, we're heading over now to our second installation. They're called the Japanese reef or the Asahi reefs, and they're massive. They're about 25 tons. And they were so heavy, we couldn't drop them off on either end, you know, maneuver them nicely. They literally just fell right in a row. So here on the port side, you guys are gonna get a really nice pass of the Asahi reefs. And then here on the starboard side, I'm so sorry, hopefully you guys can come out next time and get a better pass. No, I'm teasing, I'm teasing. So we're gonna do a U-turn later on and you guys are going to get the same pass. Equal viewing tour. Here on the port side, we got some dory fish. I call these dory fish. They're just like dory. Dory's a blue tang. These fish swimming with their yellow finch and right ahead of us, that is a yellow striped tang or surgeon fish. Here are the structures, the Asahi reefs, akin to wine racks. People call them the wine rack structures. Anyone getting thirsty? No, I'm just kidding. Ooh, right here, so these uh, zebra-looking fish, yeah, these are the pennant butterfly fish. Pennant butterfly fish, they swim in, uh, uh, or they mate for life. So anytime divers come down here, they'll try and count out the schools. And almost 
always, it'll be key the numbers. They're also the longest uh, recorded, uh, they have the longest lifespan. I think the uh, oldest one they recorded was 70 years old. Maybe it's because they made for life. That's kind of sweet. Oh, you guys here on the port side, you guys take a look. So right here at the very end of this structure, you can see this, the big fish out there. That is called a giant trevally and it's just a baby. Just a baby, they get huge. They're one of our apex predators. They, um, they bully sharks, I call them shark hunters. They get really, really hefty and they're like uh, tuna. Tuna are powerful open ocean swimmers. And um, they're so aggressive. They're so aggressive, what they do when they get really big, they swim head uh, uh, full speed right into sharks and they'll headbutt them, tearing out parts of the shark's body. Hopefully we see some more of those giant trevallies as we make our way through. We have these millet seed butterfly fish, all of this bright colored yellow fish with the black dot on its tail. It's called the millet seed or the false eye, kiwi kiwi in Hawaii. Here on the starboard side, on the right side of the submarine, um, in just a moment we're going to be passing the last natural reef we have here in Waikiki. Uh, this reef is going to be called the Pali Opono, the Ridge of Life. And if you're looking at the Pali Opono here on the starboard side, um, I encourage you guys to look for any of the holes, any of the pukas in this lava flow. That's where you're going to find more right eel. Um, you're going to see a lot of sea cucumber here, sea stars, so Patrick from Spongebob, he loves this area right here at the lava flow. <laughs> Oh, we have some more of these giant trevallies, you guys, here on the starboard side. You can see them right below the submarine. These giant shark hunters. And right at this, oh, look at this one right below us here on the starboard side. That's a teenager, a little bit bigger, but still not even close. They get up to 200 pounds, massive, widely long. They're huge, huge predators. Look at it right here. Starboard side, this big trevally. If you guys see a trevally, look at his face. He has scars on his mouth. That means he got into a fight with a shark and he won. So these uh, these giant trevally, they swim and they take out chunks of the shark's body. But shark skin is like sandpaper. And so when they're coming at them, that sandpaper from the shark is like tearing off their own face. It leaves a lot of markings on their mouth. So if you don't see any marks on their face, that means they're, they're pretty peaceful. They haven't yet gotten into a fight. We're coming right over the Pali Opono. So we're gonna spin around here and you guys on the port side are gonna get the view of the Pali Opono. And then you guys on the starboard side are gonna get a view of the Asaki Reefs. We call it the, um, the Pali Opono, the Ridge of Life. Cause if you guys uh, saw that range, that mountain range behind the city, it's called the Polo Mountain Range. And it starts here, about a mile offshore from Waikiki and it spreads all the way up the heavens, the Pali Opono, the Ridge of Life. The Hawaiians, we have a, we believe, we have a, a, a chant, the ancient cosmology chant. It talks about the creation of life here on the island. It's like a very hour long chant. Don't ever let a Hawaiian chant it for you. You're going <laughs> to fall asleep. But it's beautiful. It opens up talking about um, the uku po'o which is coral. So the Hawaiians believe that the very first spark of life started here in the ocean. And so we use the kumuyuko, the chant of life, to tell us where we came from and what we should take care of. Yeah? So you shouldn't take uh, coral and the ocean, uh, you shouldn't take advantage of it. You should take care of the land. And in turn, the land will take care of you. So here on the port side, we're going to be passing the pali okono. This is basically what we're trying to mimic all of our artificial structures after this ancient lava flow, where we have these like seven different types of parts, the only coral here. This is this is the ideal. You can't be the real thing. So much for harming your ancestors. Oh, you guys here on the starboard side? Starboard side, we've got the Asahi Reefs. What All is these millet seeds here. we got the pennant butterfly fish. Some lavender tanks. Captain Sue getting us nice and close. You can almost taste your poke bowl. He's <laughs> <laughs> getting hungry. 
this very young giant trevally right oh is that a golden trevally you guys you're on the starboard side it's right in front of me right in front of this or is that a column whatever it is that is a tasty fish that's the perfect size you guys to eat i'll teach you guys i didn't have lunch so i'm going to point out all the fish that i see <laughs> <laughs> do you guys ever get hungry just press this red button right by the viewport <laughs> go down the windows go for a dive <laughs> If you ever have any questions, by the way, throughout the tour, feel free to stop me at any time. If not, I'm just going to ramble on about my little fish facts. So it's go ahead and stop me. My name is Miley, by Inside. the way. Aloha. Miley, I also answer to uh, AU or beautiful Wahine. Whatever you like, I answer to. Wahine. We call these the Asahi reefs or the Japanese reefs because we got them from a company in Osaka, Osaka, Japan. If you eat sushi, you eat the seaweed, right, that goes around the raft. They're always growing off of these structures. So ours are about a quarter of the size from Osaka, from Osaka Japan. Um, we don't have any seaweed on ours. That was not the intention. We literally just bought them to uh, provide houses for fish. So we don't want any seaweed. Our water's too acidic, but it's doing its perfect job. It's, it's a condo for fish. We're here at 92 feet, you guys, right now. Uh, I don't know if you guys can tell, but we're spinning our tail end towards Waikiki Beach. So that means we're gonna get ahead offshore. The water's gonna get deeper and colder. And you'll see it start to reflect here on the ocean floor. It's already happening. So all that coral is gonna start to disappear. This coral likes a warm, cozy temperature. And you're gonna just see nothing but sand and seagrass, the colder we get. Keep your eyes out on the depth gauge. This submarine has what we call a crushing depth. You can probably guess what that means, right? So the pressure outside, at some point it's gonna get so strong, it's gonna crush the submarine like a soda can. <laughs> we never ever wanna hit 100 feet. That is our crushing depth. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. The submarine can handle uh, 800 feet of pressure. But you guys, congratulations. We are here at 101 feet. They say less than one third of 1% of the population has ever gone to sea. So you guys are proud of the Cool Kids Club now. This is uh, my favorite part of the tour. This is where the tour changes. So uh, here at 100 feet, I brought you guys is over to nice our first set of airplane wings. Yeah. It's gonna oh, be here no, on the starboard side. You can see it's really sandy here. So the submarine can touch down, we'll just glide across the sand like a, like a sled. We're bringing you to our first set of airplane wings. You guys are on the port side, we're gonna have your own set in just a second. Something right here. These are called the uh, the Mitsubishi YS-11. So we got a massive giant trevally right underneath wow. this wing. Still a couple of teenagers. There's one giant trevally staring at a, a large eyed emperor fish. He's just lying about. No. We're at 108 like a feet. 108 feet. Uh, kiss your loved ones. This is the deepest kiss you'll ever have. <laughs> Aww, happy Valentine's Day! Isn't that sweet? Here on the port side, the second set of airplane wings. The deepest kiss you've ever had. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Probably. If I had to guess, I'm assuming this would be the deepest kiss. We got our Oreo cookie uh, butterfly fish here. White bellied fish, black faces. Ooh, puffer fish here on the port side, you guys. This is my favorite fish of all time. Puffer fish right here on the sand. That's a spotted puffer fish. Adorable, large eyes, dopey smile. Highly poisonous. Extremely poisonous fish. What adorable. We have two schools of fish here on the port side. They're all blending together. So the ones here on the bottom, they're more trans like pale looking. Those are goat fish and they're actually trying to copy those guys right above them, the blue striped snappers. They're trying to blend in with the crowd. So those goldfish are able to change their coloration so they can kind of just use those guys as protection. So this oh, is look at the oh, 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 oh. Take a look at this massive, giant trevally. Again, still not even the largest one I've ever seen but still a monster in his own right. This is a male trevally. You can see he's a lot darker 
than the younger ones. He's using the shadow to kind of camouflage himself. He'll start to change that deeper, dark charcoal color, and he uses that to hide and lurk in the shadows. They're nocturnal predators. So right now he's just kind of playing around in shore, but later on at nighttime, you guys are gonna see him. They're so vicious. He's ready. He's right on the top of the boat. Oh, excuse me, that is a female. Wow. Oh, two, there's two female uh, Hawaiian green sea turtles. She's staring right at you guys. That is a female. Both of them are females. You just gotta look at their eyes. Their eyes, uh, that's how you can tell they're females because they're rolling them at you. <laughs> that's a girl. That was a perfect view. Captain Stu getting us nice and close to the YO257. Wow, look at that. Oh my god, it's full of fish. I know, we got those blue sharp snappers here all huddled together. Wow. So these yellow fish, this school of yellow fish right here underneath the canopy. Those blue shirt snappers, we call them Ta'ape. Ta'ape, that's their Tahitian name, which is where we brought them over from. We brought them over here because we wanted to eat them. In Tahiti, they're so, they taste so good. They're ono. They taste delicious. Um, but the joke's on us. They don't grow very big. They stay that small size and they taste awful. So they're multiplying in numbers. They've actually eaten all of our red snappers. <laughs> Just teasing. So we use these um, these cement blocks, uh, sort of like breadcrumbs through the forest. So captains, our, our pilots, all they have for maneuvering down here or navigating um, is a compass, and they looked at a map once. So they just have to memorize the dive site, which is easy, easy to do when it's nice visibility days like this. But uh, at any moment, the visibility can drop. We can like swim right into a cloud of blue algae. We can't see anything in front of us. So at that point, right on that crawl on the ocean floor, just, uh, if you guys are in the back, you can, might be able to see it. Wow, look at a that. A little offshore of us on the ocean floor, fighting the current. She's pushed herself way down onto the sand, buried herself beneath the, uh, the reef. So these are this is a ship? Yeah. It's an actual ship that they purchased in the You guys can see a couple of sick coral here. So if you look at a piece of coral, there's like a white, there's white chunks throughout their body. That's an indication that they're sick. Really? Yeah, so a lot of people think that coral is just like a plant or a rock, but coral is a living animal. And so just like us, just like animals, they get sick. Oh. Eventually, if the entire coral goes white, that's no good for, that's that's not a good indicator. That means this entire structure will be compromised and slowly you're gonna see all of the corals disappear. Oh. But I know that it's still healthy because there's a certain fish you look for right in front of you guys, the white belly fish with an orange face. Uh -huh. They're really, really sensitive. So once a coral dies, that fish is gonna leave. They're not gonna stay there. So I see a bunch of them that tell oh, us they're still You guys, turtles are still Hi. Husband and wife. We have a young one, a yellow female, and a much older, and right offshore of them is a school of mackerel. These mackerel are swimming up top, going diving down. Mackerel are actually a lot rarer to find than the turtle over its side. You guys can see it now. Such an unattractive boat. It actually caught fire on the south point of Big Island. So all of these holes throughout the ship, you can see where the fire just licked through this entire boat. I can actually see some sick coral here too. Parrotfish, there's a parrotfish right here in the middle of the boat. A beautiful male parrotfish. You can see it's rainbow colors. I love parrotfish. They um, they have molars, just like us. Really powerful beak mouths. And they take out chunks of the coral, digest the nutrients they need, and then sand comes out the back end. So when we're enjoying the beach, yeah, doing our little sand angel, we know exactly where that sand comes from. It's parrotfish <laughs> Isn't that beautiful here? That really long one. It's the trumpet fish. Beautiful dirigen. The coral is going to white. Yeah, this one right here. This is rice coral. So that's actually the uh, the real color of the coral. It's a brown, but you can't tell because we're here at 80 feet. So colors get distor uh, distorted down here. 
but you'll look at you're looking for like the darker colored ones, and you'll see just one bright white piece. That means it's sick. All of these pyramid butterfly fish telling us this, that telling us that this structure is still healthy. All of these black fish here, these are called lavender tanks. Now you can't really see their true color. They're the most beautiful color in purple. Oh. Yeah. You guys here on the starboard side, we got the turtle is still here. We got both of our girls here. So you can actually tell they're girls because they're tails. So you can barely see them. The male Hawaiian green sea turtle, you can't miss those back. Those, their tails are as big as their back flipper. So those are two females resting on each other. For inside, the sun, uh, the wild two. Oh, what is this? The sun baby girl. Ooh, hello. <laughs> you want to eat those two, honey? Uh -huh. so, okay, don't forget the kiki, please. Oh, off. Off now. Uh, chicken Have fun. 